Hey y'all, it's Kate from Katie Did. I am today at the Rosebud Fishing Access uh, in Rosebud, Montana. It is a warm sunny day out, well warm for winter anyway, it's probably about 30 degrees outside, but we've had some really really cold temperatures so it feels warm to us right now. Uh, we're going to go check out the river, see if there's any chance that we can find any rocks. If not, we will film some beautiful ice and uh, see what else we can find. So come along. There's something so peaceful about being beside a river. So I spotted this little thing and it's nothing really, but it's just such a fun shape. It's like a little dollar horse or something. I think I'll actually take it and I'll paint it like a dollar horse, which are those little Swedish red horses and send it to my mom who collects them. First agate of the day. Keep on doing. The last time I was here, I started off over on this beach and I really didn't find very much. So I'm gonna go back because I'm really curious to know if the snow that highlights individual rocks will help me figure out what I missed. This is an interesting little piece. I think that it's an agate. It's got a lot of dark stuff in it, so it must be, uh, if it is, if it is an agate, it's going to have a lot of manganese or iron or something like that. I'm really quite surprised at how fairly uncovered the rocks are here. Um, we have had a lot of cold and some snow, so I kind of expected there to be a lot more snow on the beach. Uh, I also expected to be able to wade, and so it's good that one expectation was wrong, because otherwise it would be a pretty sad rock hunting video if I couldn't find any rocks at all. This is kind of an interesting piece. I don't think, it's certainly not agate, but it seems kind of hard. It has agate skin, might be, have some cool pieces in it. Jasper probably, this is the place I call Jasper Beach. So we'll take this home, cut it open, see what it looks like. One nice thing about the sun shining is that little pieces like this that are would maybe be buried or not noticeable stand out. They just shine like the sun. Really pretty. I picked this up and for a moment I was confused about whether it was petrified wood or an agate. Uh, it has so many agate qualities it made me a little bit puzzled, but I think based on the striations inside here and the basic general shape of it is a piece of agatized wood, so neat! This piece looks fairly interesting. It's a little bit, it's a little bit milky, so it's hard to tell. And yes, of course, I forgot my, I forgot my spray bottle again, but I think that, uh, I think it's a little too milky to be worth taking home, but it's kind of cool anyway. This is an interesting piece. I, uh, I initially thought it was probably petrified wood because of the lines in it, but I think maybe it's actually just a piece of, maybe it's a piece of sedimentary rock that's been metamorphosed into something harder. Interesting. I have a hard time resisting 
red jasper. And this is Jasper Beach, so I have to take it home. This is probably what I would call a milk agate. Well... Spray bottle, where are you when I need you? Hang on. Well, it looks pretty milky, but it's also kind of one of the only agate type things I've found today, so I'll haul it along at least for now. It's a really pretty piece of jasper. Uh, it has some interesting inside here that's like some other kind of travertine or basalt or something. So it was formed in a, in a gas pocket in, uh, volcanic, in a volcanic eruption, but it was filled with some minerals as well as silica, so it ended up being colored. But it's, it retains some of that volcanic material there, and I just think that's pretty cool. I'm farther down the beach than I went before because the ice let me get past a little hump uh, that I didn't do last time, so I'm exploring. The dog is headed back. My son is quite a ways away, maybe a quarter mile down the beach now, and uh, she doesn't like us to be separated, so she's got to keep going back and forth and making sure we're both okay. This is kind of interesting. Again, I think it's most likely milky, and therefore not worth gathering, but the shape is good. So, this one, back to the beach for you. This is an interesting piece. I picked it up because I thought it might be an agate, and I still think it has some agate qualities. But now I'm not really sure what it is. And of course, since I didn't bring my spray bottle, we can't look at it closer until we get home. So I'll just put it in my pocket with all the other things, and we'll see what it looks like once we get it wet. This is really interesting. I'm guessing that it doesn't go all the way through, that it's just somehow a pattern on the outside, but I don't recall seeing a rock like this before. I'm going to take it home, cut it open, just because it would be really neat if it actually was all the way through. Here's another pretty shiny thing. It's almost like rose quartz. It's lovely. I'm walking along here and, you know, I'm doing the rock hunting thing, I'm doing the filming thing. I'm just kind of not really feeling it and I'm like, why am I so kind of eh? And and then I realized that I had been planning on waiting and that wasn't working. And as we know, or you do know if you've watched my videos, I don't like it when my plans change. But I'm walking along this beautiful beach, listening to the sound of the water, and the sun is shining on my face. And it doesn't matter if I can't wade in the water, it doesn't matter if I don't find anything awesome. 
This is a beautiful day, a beautiful spot, and I'm thankful to be here. This is an interesting rock. When I first picked it up, I thought it looked just like lava. You can see it's got a lot of holes in it, but it also is quite hard. So it must have had lots of gases in it and uh, and they bubbled out, leaving the bubbles. And anyway, I'm gonna take it home, cut it open, see what it looks like, just cause I think it's interesting. Also, there's a kidney stone. And a pretty shiny rock. So this is just a flat little thing. And it probably is milkier than I would prefer, but it also has some really pretty colors on the top of it. So I'm gonna take it along, see what it looks like. I find this little slab of ice, half buried in other ice, really fascinating. It's kind of sticking out. You can see that there's, the ice doesn't just develop and stay. There's all kinds of different levels of it, different layers of it. And you can see even down, coming down the stream, there's little tiny icebergs. Uh, so when this all, when it freezes hard and then it all breaks up, sometimes the river actually freezes right over. And then when it breaks up, it literally carves huge gouges out of the, out of the land. So uh, I don't think that's going to happen this year, but uh, it will flood. This looks hopeful. Hmm. Pretty milky on this side. It almost looks like it's got agate wrapped around, wrapped around some quartzite. Huh. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'll take it. So many near agates. This one, again, is milky. It has some that orangey stuff on the outside. I found that that orange stuff is actually just staining from the river, but it does seem to have some interesting interesting growth patterns inside. So because this has been a fairly light day, agate-wise, as in very light, um, I'm going to go ahead and take this home and see what's inside. This one is pretty dark but it looks like it has some good agate material in it. Uh, worth a look anyway, so I'll take it home. Same thing with this one. I can see the sun shining through some of it, so it's fairly clear. It does look like it has some other types of materials in it. But, like I said, since it's such a light day, now's the time I get to look at other things. Oh, there's an actual agate. I think this beach is a fairly popular rock hunting spot. This is a piece of jasper but it's a piece of jasper that's been broken open. You can see here, somebody hit it with a hammer to see what was inside. Apparently they didn't like it enough to take it home. I think it's very pretty, but I'm not going to keep it either because I've got lots of jasper. Uh, but it's interesting to see evidence that there have been other people here. Here's another interesting rock, real similar to that other one, just in terms of the, the patterns on it. Get, see if you can see it. There. Isn't that pretty? That is really neat. No big finds, but lots of beautiful things. This is Kate from Katie Did. Keep on doing.